Hi, this is Sahana. Today we are going to understand model binding in ASP.NET Core MVC application. What is model binding? Model binding is a process that extracts data from HTTP request and maps to the parameters of controller action method. If you are finding it difficult to understand the definition, then don't worry, we will make it simpler. Before understanding model binding, we should know the fact that whenever client sends requests to the web application, which is there on a server, it will be in the form of HTTP request. And HTTP request carries data in different forms. Application that we are talking about is MVC application. In MVC application, whenever there is a request, the routing engine selects the right controller and hands over that request to the controller. Then, right action method will be chosen and action method inside that controller handles the HTTP request. Coming back to model binding, ASP.NET Core MVC framework has something called as model binder, which maps data from HTTP request to controller action methods. One more important thing to know is model binding system maps data from route data, form fields and query strings. In other words, I can say HTTP request carries data in these different forms and model binding system is able to map data from these systems. Important steps involved in model binding are model binding maps HTTP request data to action method parameters by matching names. and HTTP requests carry data in the form of string. Before mapping it to the action method parameter, model binding system converts data to appropriate type. This is our ASP.NET Core MVC application. In this application, we have home controller and tutorial controller. If you look at this tutorial controller, you can find different action methods that are taking different types of parameters. Parameter of this create tutorial action method is of the type tutorial class. If you see this edit tutorial, this method is taking integer type ID. The same goes for this method, which is taking type, which is taking input of the type tutorial. This is our application. When I click on tutorial, we can view tutorial data as well as we can add new tutorial, edit and delete. When I click on add new tutorial, we call this create tutorial action method, which is there inside tutorial controller. And what you see here is a form. When I fill this form, form and submit, HTTP request carries forms data. We are going to test it now. I have filled some random data and I'll click on submit. When I click on submit, you can see this create tutorial action method is called and form data is mapped to this tutorial. You can see description is testing model binding and name is testing model binding and it has added new data. We have seen how model binding system maps form data. Now let's see how model binding system maps route data. Now I'll click on this edit Here, can you see tutorial? Tutorial is the controller. Edit tutorial is the action method. And this is a route data. When I click on edit, this edit tutorial action method is called and ID3 is passed. Again, this mapping is done by model binding system. Now I'll show you how query string data will be mapped. What I will do, I'll add one more parameter by name query string data again i'll click on edit this time id is 3 but query string data is null because we did not pass anything that matches this name query string data to pass data as query string i'll write question mark then write this query string data if i hit enter again this edit tutorial action method is called and see Instead of null, this time I'm query string data is mapped to this parameter query string data. And 3 is mapped to ID.
Let's try to pass data by some other name and see what happens. I'll remove this data and I'll hit enter. See, this time nothing is passed. Query string data is null. This is such a useful concept that is available in the framework. This saves our time. We need not do this manual binding. Framework itself does this job for us. What we have discussed in our today's session is default model binding. If you want, you can customize this behavior. We call that as custom model binding. We are not covering that in our today's session. I hope model binding is clear. Thanks for your time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe to my channel. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.